The journey of NASA's Voyager 1 spacecraft has been nothing short of extraordinary. Launched in 1977 alongside its twin, Voyager 2, this probe has provided us with unprecedented insights into our solar system and beyond. Yet, recent revelations from Voyager 1 have left scientists and enthusiasts stunned as it encounters an unknown entity, potentially altering our understanding of the cosmos forever. Decades ago, Voyager 1 captured what many consider Earth's first selfie, the iconic pale blue dot image. This photograph showed our planet as a mere speck in the vastness of space, highlighting the humbling scale of the universe. However, recent data suggests that Voyager 1's mission is far from over, as it continues to gather groundbreaking information from the edges of our solar system. For over 45 years, the twin Voyagers have revealed the secrets of space. These missions began at a time when modern technology, as we know it, did not exist. There were no smartphones, no internet, and no advanced computers. Despite these limitations, the spacecraft achieved feats that continue to astonish scientists today. Voyager 1 was the first spacecraft to reach the edge of the solar system, traveling at astonishing speeds and navigating immense risks. Its twin, Voyager 2, embarked on its own path, capturing breathtaking images of Jupiter, Saturn, Uranus, and Neptune. The missions provided humanity with its first close-up views of the famous Great Red Spot on Jupiter, the discovery of active volcanoes on Io, and evidence of water on Europa. These findings have shaped our understanding of the solar system and its many wonders. Pushing the Boundaries Nearly 13 years after launch, Voyager 1 reached Saturn, offering scientists a clearer picture of the planet's brief 10-hour days and intense wind speeds. On Titan, Saturn's moon, Voyager 1 unveiled nitrogen-rich environments, sparking interest in its potential for hosting life. After completing its mission at Saturn, Voyager 1 diverged from its twin, heading toward the heliosphere, a protective bubble shielding our solar system from interstellar radiation. In 2004, both Voyagers reached the termination shock, where solar winds slow dramatically. Voyager 1 eventually crossed into interstellar space, traveling an incredible 12 billion miles from Earth. It continues to send back data, despite operating on technology that predates modern microprocessors. Remarkably, the spacecraft relies on hardwired systems and stores data on an 8-track tape recorder, using energy comparable to a refrigerator light bulb. Voyager 1's latest encounter hints at something extraordinary. Could it be a sign of communication with extraterrestrial life? Or is it an unforeseen anomaly in the After vast expanse of space? Orbit, how is our trust These questions space? highlight the risks and rewards of deep space exploration. Despite the challenges, Voyager 1 remains a testament to human ingenuity and the relentless pursuit of knowledge. Where is Voyager 1? Despite being operational, Scientists now admit they do not know the exact location of Voyager 1. Although the spacecraft has not entered safe mode or triggered any alarms, its transmissions are causing concern. According to NASA, the data being sent by Voyager 1's Attitude Articulation and Control Systems, AACS, is arbitrary and unrelated to its expected performance. This system, responsible for keeping the high-gain antenna pointed toward Earth, began transmitting jumbled information instead of its usual health and condition reports. Interestingly, despite these anomalies, Voyager 1's antenna remains pointed at Earth, ensuring a steady signal. NASA experts discovered that the AACS had been sending telemetry data through an onboard computer that had been out of service for years. By patching this issue, NASA hopes to prevent similar problems in the future. Nevertheless, the erratic signals raise questions about the spacecraft's condition as it ventures deeper into interstellar space. Voyager 1 operates in one of the most challenging environments imaginable. Since its launch, it has been shielded by the sun's magnetic field, protecting it from solar radiation and high-energy particles. However,
prolonged exposure to space has inevitably taken a toll on its systems. The onboard CPUs, designed without modern microprocessors, have proven remarkably resilient thanks to their hardwired construction. Yet, the gradual decline in performance is a reminder of the probe's age. After some inventive sleuthing, the mission team can, for the first time in five months, check the health and status of the most distant human-made object in existence. For the first time since November, NASA's Voyager 1 spacecraft is returning usable data about the health and status of its onboard engineering systems. The next step is to enable the spacecraft to begin returning science data again. The probe and its twin, Voyager 2, are the only spacecraft to ever fly in interstellar space, the space between stars. Voyager 1 stopped sending readable science and engineering data back to Earth on November 14, 2023. Even though mission controllers could tell the spacecraft was still receiving their commands and otherwise operating normally. In March, the Voyager engineering team at NASA's Jet Propulsion Laboratory in Southern California confirmed that the issue was tied to one of the spacecraft's three onboard computers, called the Flight Data Subsystem, FDS. The FDS is responsible for packaging the science and engineering data before it's sent to Earth. The team discovered that a single chip responsible for storing a portion of the FDS memory, including some of the FDS computer's software code, isn't working. The loss of that code rendered the science and engineering data unusable. Unable to repair the chip, the team decided to place the affected code elsewhere in the FDS memory. But no single location is large enough to hold the section of code in its entirety so they devised a plan to divide the affected code into sections and store those sections in different places in the FDS. To make this plan work, they also needed to adjust those code sections to ensure, for example, that they all still function as a whole. Any references to the location of that code in other parts of the FDS memory needed to be updated as well. The team started by singling out the code responsible for packaging the spacecraft's engineering data they sent it to its new location in the FDS memory on April 18th. A radio signal takes about 22 and a half hours to reach Voyager 1, which is over 15 billion miles, 24 billion kilometers, from Earth, and another 22 and a half hours for a signal to come back to Earth. When the mission flight team heard back from the spacecraft on April 20th, they saw that the modification worked. For the first time in five months, they have been able to check the health and status of the spacecraft. NASA estimates that Voyager 1's mission will conclude by 2030. With its power reserves dwindling, the agency has been systematically shutting down non-essential components to conserve energy. For instance, the heater for the cosmic ray detector was turned off in 2019. NASA plans to gradually deactivate the spacecraft's remaining instruments, prioritizing those contained within the spacecraft's body which benefit from excess After heat generated by its orbit, CPUs. How is our trusted spatial? Currently, it takes Voyager 1 approximately 22 hours to relay a radio message to Earth, a delay that grows by several light seconds each day. The increasing distance complicates communication, as Earth's background noise further diminishes the clarity of the faint signals. An unmatched legacy. The significance of the Voyager missions cannot be overstated. Over the past 45 years, these probes have transformed our understanding of the solar system and beyond. Voyager 1 captured iconic images like the pale blue dot, while its twin provided unprecedented views of Jupiter, Saturn, Uranus, and Neptune. These missions revealed the Great Red Spot, active volcanoes on Io, and potential subsurface oceans on Europa. Voyager 1's journey into interstellar space has further expanded our knowledge of the cosmos. Both voyagers carry a golden record, a message from humanity encoded in 55 languages featuring music, images, and symbols representing life on Earth. This interstellar time capsule reflects humanity's enduring curiosity and desire to connect with the unknown. As the voyagers near the end of their missions, they pave the way for future explorations. Their success is a testament to the ingenuity and determination of multi-generational teams of scientists and engineers. While their memory systems and transmission speeds may seem primitive by today's standards, their contributions to space exploration are unparalleled.
the data they have gathered remains a cornerstone of our understanding of space. Washington, NASA's Voyager. One spacecraft has entered a new region at the far reaches of our solar system that scientists feel is the final area the spacecraft has to cross before reaching interstellar space. Scientists refer to this new region as a magnetic highway for charged particles because our sun's magnetic field lines are connected to interstellar magnetic field lines. This connection allows lower energy charged particles that originate from inside our heliosphere, or the bubble of charged particles the sun blows around itself, to zoom out and allows higher energy particles from outside to stream in. Before entering this region, the charged particles bounced around in all directions, as if trapped on local roads inside the heliosphere. The Voyager team infers this region is still inside our solar bubble because the direction of the magnetic field lines has not changed. The direction is predicted to change when Voyager breaks through to interstellar space. The new results were described at the American Geophysical Union meeting in San Francisco on Monday. Although Voyager 1 still is inside the sun's environment, we now can taste what it's like on the outside because the particles are zipping in and out on this magnetic highway, said Edward Stone. Voyager project scientist based at the California Institute of Technology, Pasadena. We believe this is the last leg of our journey to interstellar space. Our best guess is it's likely just a few months to a couple years away. The new region isn't what we expected, but we've come to expect the unexpected from Voyager. Since December 2004, when Voyager 1 crossed a point in space called the Termination Shock, the spacecraft has been exploring the heliosphere's outer layer, called the Helios Heath. In this region, the stream of charged particles from the sun known as the solar wind abruptly slowed down from supersonic speeds and became turbulent. Voyager 1's environment was consistent for about five and a half years. The spacecraft then detected that the outward speed of the solar wind slowed to zero. The intensity of the magnetic field also began to increase at that time. Voyager data from two onboard instruments that measure charged particles showed the spacecraft first entered this magnetic highway region on July 28, 2012. The region ebbed away and flowed toward Voyager one several times. The spacecraft entered the region again August 25, and the environment has been stable since. If we were judging by the charged particle data alone, I would have thought we were outside the heliosphere said Stamachios Krimigis, principal investigator of the Low Energy Charged Particle Instrument based at the Johns Hopkins Applied Physics Laboratory, Laurel, Maryland. But we need to look at what all the instruments are telling us, and only time will tell whether our interpretations about this frontier are correct. Spacecraft data revealed the magnetic field became stronger each time Voyager entered After the highway regions in orbit. However, the direction of the magnetic shuttle, field lines did Voyager not change. We are in a magnetic region unlike any we've been in before, about 10 times more intense than before the termination shock. But the magnetic field data show no indication we're in interstellar space, said Leonard Berlaga, a Voyager magnetometer team member based at NASA's Goddard Space Flight Center in Greenbelt, Maryland. The magnetic field data turned out to be the key to pinpointing when we cross the termination shock and we expect these data will tell us when we first reach interstellar space. Voyager 1 and 2's journeys remind us of the vastness of the universe and the resilience of human ambition. Even as they fade into history, their legacy will inspire generations to continue exploring the final frontier. At approximately 14.5 billion miles from Earth, Voyager 1 continues to defy expectations. Its journey underscores the resilience of early space technology and the boundless curiosity that drives exploration. As we await further updates, one thing is clear. The story of Voyager 1 is far from over, and its discoveries may forever change our understanding of the universe.